Welcome back, everybody, for some more Tomislav. So, yeah, I, I still have my save file, but uh, the campaign was actually updated uh, because I do talk with uh, Jacqueline, who made this uh, awesome custom campaign, and there are some things that I did wrong, and there are some things that she felt could be improved. So, there was an update. Also, credit to her for updating this super fast. One, we get Siege Engineers. Uh, apparently it was not intended that uh, Michael of Zalhumye was not very helpful. So now he will actually be helpful because he apparently didn't actually see the enemy base. And uh, I guess now they train some dismounted Konex. And everything should theoretically be playing a bit more smoothly. So I just figured let's just give this a, a clean slate since this has to be two videos anyway. Oh, the Croat music is so happy. They're attacking, man! Enough is enough. We must is save. enough, is enough, is enough. These traitors must pay the penalty! Stay out of the way! 13.95 in uh, five easy payments. Get him! Goners, man! I am glad you're safe, but I am sure that there are more Bulgarian morons nearby. You must be cautious. Now, I'm not sure what the purpose of this Serbian village is. Special surprise for the Bulgarians. Scouts inform us that Alokovotar's army will arrive in 40 minutes. My lord, we must protect the tower guarding the road to inner Croatia. We should not let the Bulgarians sack us. I mean, we could. It wouldn't be very great for us, but, you know, we could. We could. Don't knock it till you try it, right? The Bulgarians will try to raid us before their main army arrives. We should destroy their camps on our side of the Drina to slow them down. To slow them down. Oh, I just realized. I wonder if the change. Yeah, we're a buffoon. I wonder if the change where they made it so, like, Feudal Age Scouts no longer display 3 plus 2 attack, but just display 5 attack, or Castle Age Eagle Scouts getting uh, 7 attack instead of 4 plus 3. I wonder if that's responsible for showing the Zupon's actual attack as, like, their base attack. You know, like, they have 13 base attack and then we have forging, so it's plus 1. I do not know. <laughs> But still, nevertheless, game plan is going to be more or less the same as last time. Just going to try and, you know, do it a bit more cleanly. Do it a bit more cleanly. And also, uh, Mikhail, Michael should help us out a bit more. And apparently that should make a big difference. Oh, you can actually run in between over here. What the hell are you guys doing? DE, please. Oops. I hear attacking sound somewhere. Oh, just a just a random scouting unit thingy. And start getting some wood income. I definitely did want to gather some stone early, as getting a castle is going to be very helpful. And then I'm not going to go so crazy on the boom as I did like that one time.
And we should be fairly well equipped. Let's get a stable. Because they do attack us fairly early on. Oh yeah, we also don't need to like super heavily wall up here because uh yeah, that's just the Bulgarian raiders. It's not where the main attack's coming from. Oh. I hope this is okay. Not gonna lose Tommy Slav again, because uh, we've done that a little too a little too often. Some eco upgrades, especially heavy plow. Well, I mean, Bosa is like always good. It's the second best eco upgrade in the game after double bit axe. But uh, especially get heavy plow since we are Croats. Get that farming speed boost. In addition to, you know, the more food per farm that the tech normally gives you. Because, yeah, that's also still good. Okay, we can afford a castle. Oh, uh, just build it with these villagers once they mine out that stone. So we're going to want to build some houses. I did like our castle positions. I thought they were fairly good. Other than the one in the north. Stop chasing random scouting units, man. Karadite. Frickin' Mikhail, man. What a weenie. You pick quite the opportune moment to abandon me, If there's something in it for me, I might reconsider my allegiance. Okay, that should be fine. Start getting some knights, because I do think that the... I think Jacqueline also said that the, the faster we attack the, the raiders, the better. I think, that was some, I think that was something said somewhere that was useful. However, we do want to make sure we get these walls up and running, because they were certainly very useful. Bought us a lot of time. Still getting a strong eco count and stuff. See what's going down over here. Oh yeah, we'll also get our unique tech soon. Recruits make our knights and zupons really cheap. Oh hey, Jacqueline changed that too. Remember when this used to just be like one by one? You know, like it was like super narrow and our units and their units kept on getting stuck on one another. Thanks, Jacqueline! Pop limit, right? Yeah. 
おいやフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフロジスティカロジスティ
So already get our markets ready. Oh yeah, we should research coinage and banking. I never got my second castle. Let's get my second castle. Send these guys over with these guys. Get siege engineers. Running a little low on gold. those guys. Recap ram should be plenty, especially when Siege Engineers comes in. Uh, I don't know if there's actually enough cavalry. Oh, they only have Castle Age upgrades, but we're also almost comically over overmatched in terms of numbers. getting our defensive upgrades. I'm working on it. Where are you guys going? Oh, not right into the scorpion fire, man. Let's see how you get. Oh, I don't have elite soup on. Other castle right there. The bridge leading to Serbia is heavily guarded. We cannot safely cross until we withstand Alagubatorn. Eh, just chasing a random scouting unit, you know the drill. Yeah, we're doing lots of damage to the castle. That should be good. One more. By uncovering the arsenal in this blacksmith, our infantry will know how to counter the Bulgarian cavalry. Oh yeah, yeah, Druzhina. Forgot about that. With this Bulgarian camp destroyed, we have more room to protect. Get some more of those. Only got 552, but we can take out one camp in 552. Whoops. Oh yeah, let's go... Wait, did I ever get banking? Yes, I did. Let's go get Mikhail. Your loyalty impresses me on this line. I will support you once Alago Botlock strikes. Get that crep post, and we should be good to go. Emphasis on should. That's fine. 
have our markets ready to trade once the time comes. Did I get SO? I did not get SO. We have found resources in the Bulgarian camp. Ooh, yeah, we got a lot of those. We have taken control of the battlefield before the fighting has even started. Let us see the Bulgarians crack us now. Sure. I'm sure they'll find a way. Byzantines certainly weren't. Oh yeah, Tommy Slav, go to safety. Go to the go to the edge of the freaking map, man. I don't care. Take that gold. Still have a little bit left to mine. So, just get a couple of monks because we have a lot of injured units. Just scrolling through my uh, idle military to make sure I don't have anyone off doing nothing nowhere. All right, Tommy Slav, enjoy your uh, private retreat. I, d I don't even care that this is a waste. It's not a waste. There we go. Enjoy it, Tommy Slav. I just know otherwise he is going to 100% die randomly somewhere. And then I instantly trap my villager. Let's bring our SO forward. What are you doing there, Mr. Trade Cart? You goofball. See? I mean, they can reach back here. This isn't an, uh, an exaggeration or overreaction at all. Oh, well, rip that guy. My lord, if we slay Duke Salagobotor, then the Bulgarians will loosen their coastal defenses. Come on, come to me. Ooh, when the SO hits are so good, they make the game lag. My men are ready to help you. Oh, I opened the gate. And one last hit is okay ish. Those castles are certainly helpful. Okay, let's send in our cavalry. Hopefully we can just clean up everything else. Because now the OP units are rolling in. That's technically value. I hope that's technically value. 
Okay, yeah, we need to regroup a little bit. Also... There he is. Get him. Get, 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 get him. A lot of siege rams. I will break you. Start to bring these guys forward. Let's also start to get some trade up and running. Because I need it. Yeah, I only have the one castle left. We're going to want to get some more forward. 14 plus 7 Master Koenig. Let's start with another castle over here. Think we're winning that? Could use some more lumberjacks, honestly. Also, some better lumber camps. Let's get rolling. Yeah, the coastal defenses or whatever are all gone. Yellow's actually being useful. Good times. And we'll get another castle, you know, around here. Hopefully out of range of those trebs. Oh, whoops, you guys go to the market. Uh, I guess you guys can focus on the preposts. Or trade carts, very much needed. I guess we go up to that. Siege Engineers really helps a lot having that now. Oh, let's get some workshops. That's all fine, I guess. towers get this gold income a 
That's probably enough. Yes, it is. And let's go make some paladins and zoopons. Already cleared out that whole area. Make sure we keep our trade numbers up. And things are going a lot more smoothly, man. Really, one halberd here. Sigh. Oh boy. So excited, man. Forward. Even a few more trade carts. Oh. Hey guys! Totally didn't forget about you. But yeah, still, we're gonna go with the same plan of going after the Bulgarian army before going after uh, Ducks himself. Wasn't there some more stone we could mine somewhere? Oh yeah, yeah, Michael has some stone. But maybe you can just buy another castle. Maybe like once that gold starts to run out. Ooh, three relics. Yes, please. Let's get that trade down too. Get those relics, man. Keep them over here. That should be fairly safe. Wood, 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 wood. Need some more wood. What are you guys doing? My pop should be a little bit higher, it feels. Or, like, my army should be a bit larger. But I guess they're mostly in transit. Oh yeah, please kill that tower. Yeah, man, you go, you go get those walls, Kappa. Give another castle over here that's like forward, but as far away from uh, potential trebs as possible. not have a Tim Castle. There we go. Get these relics. And onward and upward.
Maybe we could switch back into some halves. Might not be a bad idea. Our wood count's looking pretty solid again. Let's get some forward siege workshops first, as they our siege units are very slow. So having the it is important to prioritize having those buildings in particular forward. There's less distance for them to trundle along. And then infantry and then cavalry, of course. This does give us plenty of space, actually. Stables there, a couple of stables there. Oh, yeah, relics. Bring you over here. That should be a nice little supplement to our gold income. Press on. Okay, all that's done. Well, most of that's still not done. But we're looking, we're looking pretty good. Seems like, you know, once we're taking out their production buildings, they really are not able to rebuild them quickly, if at all. Am I breaking the law? Or am I just a boss? Oh, there are the hero tribes. It's God's own reskin. Re and bad pierce armor. I think those are the names of the units. Anyway, blue should be pretty dead soon. Like some more trebuchets, and now we get to start working on orange. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, honestly, I feel like just having Siege Engineers makes this... Even with Michael being fairly useless anyway, because this... Just the fact that we have Siege Engineers makes her push so much stronger. Oh boy, here they come.
Yeah, that's not great. It must be said. Still, could be worse, I guess. We're still at a round pop cap. Slowly winning this. Uh, yeah, go for that gate. And I think we're breaking them. Feels good, man. They still have a ton of trebuchets. And I'd say overall, this is still a fairly difficult scenario. But well within the realm of... Uh, uh, fun, I guess? Enjoyable, not frustrating? After the changes? Okay, maybe the uh, the AI for, for, for Mikhail could use a bit more work. I don't know if there's a way they can like not prioritize walls. I mean, I'm no master AI scripter. In fact, I am the opposite. I have no idea how to do it. Oop, lots of idols. But now we can go build some forward castles. And like I said, they seem to be breaking. Probably have a castle up in the back. Yep. But we're more or less camping their production, and so long as I can be getting pretty consistent reinforcements, I think we're fine. I said getting consistent reinforcements! Since this is like the big climactic battle of the campaign, I wonder what the, I guess, the, the falling action conclusion scenario is going to be. Because I feel like the advantage with having six scenarios in a campaign, and this is true for custom campaigns and, and official campaigns, is that usually in the si like the big climactic battle is in the fifth scenario, and then in the sixth scenario is like the the resolution, like the, the final battle, I guess. Like, Joan of Arc, Siege of Paris, like the big big attack on Paris with Joan is, is the fifth one, and then Avenging Joan is the sixth one. In, um... Uh, Saladin, you know, you take back the Holy Land and take down the final Crusader castles and the, you know, big build and destroy scenario with Jihad, etc, etc. I mean, it's not the case every time. You know, Attila is the Catalonian fields, like the big battle with the Huns. I just feel like it, it allows for a little bit more space in the narrative. And some campaigns that I think suffer from missing a uh, scenario six would be like uh, Bayanong. It feels like you just kind of go from rising to power to being super powerful. Like, I feel like there should be a scenario between four and five. Anyway, here we go. Everything that I have fought for, it's 
Yeah, you kind of goofed, man. Oh, for a second, I thought my game crashed. Oh, thank goodness. Anyway, outro thing. After three decades of nearly undefeated military campaigns, no one would have expected anything less than for Simeon to flatten the crash as well. But with that lone Striga victory also came great arrogance. With the Bulgarians off their guard, Tomislav was able to outmaneuver his more powerful adversaries with clever strategies. From the summits of the Bosnian hills, Tomislav ordered a surprise attack against Alugobultor's army. Clumsily flopping through the steep and jagged terrain, the Bulgarian cavalry and swordsmen were unequipped to take on an army that knew the lay of the land so well. With his prudent military tactics, Tomislav completely and utterly annihilated the Bulgarians and vanished. <laughs> it's just like, it looks like a picture that's supposed to be vertical and it's just like horizontal, like, oh, he's dead. <laughs> including the Bulgarian commander himself, fell in the battle. Simeon was in shock. With his invasion of Croatia ruined and his forces decimated, he could no longer hope to control all of Southeast Europe. Out of denial, he invaded Constantinople once again a year later, but soon died from a heart attack. Though Bulgaria had reached its cultural zenith under his reign, he remained despised by the Serbs and Byzantines he had brutally subjugated. Having scored his greatest triumph to date, Tomislav was no longer just a powerful king, but a living legend. Under his magnetic leadership, the young kingdom was poised to enter a golden age. If only that promise had not been cut so unfortunately short. Uh oh, SpaghettiO! Pretty solid KD all around. I mean, we use literally like the entire map here. Oh, wait, nope, there's a relic. Prevents uh, a relic victory. That's funny. Yeah, I mean, like, this is obviously one hell of a scenario, but it plays out a, a lot better, even in the, just the, uh, the, the patch. Oh, crap, there was gold and stone over there. Who will? Oh! Ooh! What's this? This is... A like, I didn't even find the stone and gold over here, much less the path that you would have to siege Onager cut your way through, or a regular Onager. So, Jacqueline or anyone else, let me know in the comments what that one is. Anyway, that was Tomislav V, Battle of the Bosnian Highlands. And last but not least will be Croatia Rising. Three sword difficulty, oh boy. The Voyage to Apulia and Asylum level. We'll get into that next time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you then.